What is up, Comic Book Nation? I'm Connor Casey here with Ring of Honor's own Dalton Castle. Dalton, how are you doing today? I'm wonderful. Look at me. Do I look fantastic? You look awesome. So you're coming here to Nashville this Sunday for Honor For All. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm currently in Nashville at this moment. Exactly. But, but Sunday, yeah, Honor For All, Ring of Honor, we're back in town, uh, a, a city that I, I debuted with Ring of Honor in. Uh, it's, it's one of the, the best towns to come to. Uh, Temperature-wise, it's hot, but also environment, the crowd and the, and the environment, it, it's hot. Very much. What do you like about Nashville? Food. Yeah. Yeah, there's good food. Um, I, I mean, I'm starting to not like it a little bit. I mean, everyone's so polite. They say nice. Uh, they say nice things to you. They all say hi. Um, there's a river. Ugh, I hate looking at like pretty sceneries like that. Yeah. yeah. You a hot chicken guy? I'm not a hot chicken guy. Okay. Just a, uh, just a hot chick guy. Just the chick. the Rob Schneider movie. Fair enough. So, are you, are you booked for a match this Sunday? I know you're listed on the card right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, wouldn't, you wouldn't bring this peacock to town and not put him in the ring. I, I'm, I'm a huge star. And uh, I have a big match Sunday. Uh, it's, like I said, one of my favorite things to do is wrestling. And there's going to be a ring in Nashville. And I'm going to be here. Might as well do that. Fair enough. Last we saw you, you were at Summer Supercard in a very impressive match with Roosh. Is that... Rivalry over with now, or have you have you moved on to something else? I don't. I don't know if Roosh deserves any more of my attention. Um, I feel like uh, every time I do something right, he does something wrong. He gets rewarded, and I get uh, overlooked. So I feel like that's a, a battle that I, I need to be done with for a while. I'm focusing on something else for now. Very cool. Do you miss having the boys around? We haven't seen you with them since April. I don't, I, I don't miss th those particular boys. Brent and Brandon, they, uh, they're old news. They've, they were dead weight and they were the cause of a lot of my demise. Uh, but I, I do miss having boys with me. Like a super card of honor, I, I brought some boys out with me. Yeah, we had a yeah, little the, fun. The bulls. Oh, it sure made undressing way easier. <laughs> Fair Can enough. you imagine, like, you're getting a little dewy. It's a little warm in here. It is if we warm. had boys here, we'd be, both be, be very handy. comfortable. I know. They're so handy. I've seen your YouTube videos on the Oh, you watched that. Thank you. Of course, yeah. yeah. Do you like doing that YouTube series? I love it. Uh, I put a lot more effort into it than I probably need to or that's worth it. But I, I, as long as people, like, watch it, you just said you've seen it. At least you've watched one episode, so that makes me feel good. Uh, yeah, Planet Peacock. Check, just, just look that up. Subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, if you don't subscribe, I, I, won't have to, I won't be able to do anything about it because I don't know where you live. <laughs> you've, been, you've been wearing the proverbial black hat these past few months, kind of doing a bit of a, a heelish thing. Have you enjoyed that, your time doing that? Uh, I never heard that term before. The, the black hat? Yeah, I've never heard that term. It's an uh, old cowboy thing, I think. Is it? Yeah. Oh, man, like... Like outlaws, you know? Yeah, like yeah. Clint Eastwood. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, do I, I'm just, I'm being myself. That's all I am out there. This is, this is the attitude I, I've been carrying. This is uh, the way my heart feels right now. And I, I've never not liked being myself. Very cool. A few months, about a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, story broke that the NWA was, and Ring of Honor were parting ways. Mm -hmm. uh, came as, as a surprise to a lot of fans. What was your reaction and the reaction of the Ring of Honor guys when, when you got the news? Oh, it was shocking. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't like when things change when it's something that I enjoy. Like uh, Dave Lagana has been working with us for, for a while now, and I've gotten kind of accustomed to him being around, and I, I, liked, I liked him there. I feel like he helped at least me, selfishly, he helped me out a lot. If you take a look at a lot of the, uh, the backstage videos we did, um, he, was, uh, he was behind the camera and helped producing some of those, and I, I liked having him there. Uh, I, haven't, I, mean, I haven't seen the big change yet. It hasn't affected me. I never had a storyline in, weaved in with the NWA. Right. I did uh, have ambitions in my heart to, uh, to go after that NWA world title, so I don't know how likely that is now that we split, but... Did you pitch for a match with all this potentially? I'm doing it right now. Pitching it Pitch right it. now. All right. Yeah. yeah. Pay attention, guys. You know, check out this video. And if, Nick! If Nick's watching. Nick, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Illegally, I'm going to get fired from my job, get you fired. We're going to have one of those, like, one of those career-ending matches where we both end our careers. Unsanctioned. 
What do you? Well, I need it sanctioned because I need, want his, right, cha- I want want his championship. Yeah. That's that's fair. That's totally fair. So, what do you think is the next step for Ring of Honor? It, it seemed like earlier this year you had you had some guys leave, a bunch of new guys came in. You had mm-hmm. a big show at MSG. What what's the next step for the company as a whole? You think? What's another big arena? Tokyo Dome. Some, oh, okay, that's O2. the next step. The, o, the O2, Madison Square you, you Garden. Asked, you asked for a big arena. To the Tokyo Dome. Yeah, that seems like a logical step. If we're, if we're counting stairs, Fair. yeah, usually the, you take one step and then you jump <laughs> eight feet you to the top. 20. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the next step is for the company. I know uh, moving forward is all I want to do. Mm-hmm. The only thing I can control is my performance and my attitude when I come to work. And I love doing this. And I'm never going to dial it back. I'm never going to put in the most effort possible and make sure that what the people are watching is the most entertaining and greatest product there can be. And, it, and I truly believe that the, the top guys, uh, the majority of the people in the Ring of Honor locker room, the, the men and the women, uh, about 90% of us all focus the same way. And if we all keep doing that, uh, things are just going to keep moving forward and be great. Good stuff. Maybe yeah. the Tokyo Dome will fill. Stay of uh, Staples Center. Let's let's. We'll keep oh, it here okay, in the that's more logical. Yeah. Plus, it's close to the beach. Yeah. I do love the beach. You do. That, that seems fair. Uh-huh. Uh, given that this is comicbook.com, we love to ask a lot of our guests here: uh, Marvel or DC? Ever- I don't choose sides. Not when it comes to things with words on it. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't. I don't like to read that much, but I do like pictures. Uh, do you pick? Do, what side do you pick? And. Uh, with movies, I typically go Marvel. With comics, I go DC. I, I like, did. I think I lean Marvel movies too. Yeah. Uh, but any favorites? The movies. Yeah. I love Thor. I thought the the original Thor. Uh, both all three Iron Mans were really good. Yeah. Um, I kind of fall out in some of the later Avengers. There's a lot of things going at my face. So what? I, yeah, I can't can't focus. Fair enough. You reading any comics right now, or are you more of just a more of a movie guy? Just a movie guy. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Now I also know because I asked you this last time I interviewed you. You said uh, red, red pandas over black pandas. No, no, no. Can, no. That's not. That's it's not true. It's red panda rules. Giant panda drools. Why is that? I've always wanted to take a look. What's the giant panda doing other than being fat, sitting on its butt, just ripping bamboo? And you know what? And they're also so lazy. They they rarely want to mate. I mean, they they realize how little there are of them, and they're like, man, we're okay with the species dying, but red panda, red panda, oh, just cuddly, with those big fat paws, they're like, and then, and they're fluffy, and they eat grapes, have you, oh, I got to feed a red panda grapes once. Really? Changed my life. You see why I smile so much? I was miserable until I fed a red panda. Well, there you go. Awesome. Well, guys, Honor for All this Sunday at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. You can check out Dalton Castle and so much more Ring of Honor talent. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Bring a red panda.